So Soul Simmers, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel for those of you guys who are new. Today I am coming to you guys finally with a new Sims Prey Play update reveal video. So if you guys have not seen my teasers video, definitely go check it out. Link will be down in the description and at the top right corner for you guys. Um, and we talked about what we thought the new update would be. And surprisingly, I actually had some right guesses, and so did a lot of you guys. Um, so I am actually going to be reading the blog notes for you guys, and I'm going to try and insert some pictures that I managed to get from a few friends um, so that we can see some of what the new update is going to entail. So if you guys are interested in that, just keep on watching. Alright everyone, so it says, Soul Soul, who doesn't love small and freshly brewed coffee? If you don't, I don't know who does. Um, well, now is your chance to experience it every day by managing your own cafe. Hire staff, upgrade equipment, and grow your cafe to the most talked about business in the new map location, Midtown. So, to help make sure you can hit the ground running, our, team, our, our game team have put together this FAQ before you begin, players must be at least level 27 to build the new terminal right next to the children's store in Simtown. And once you build that terminal, you'll be able to go to the new town called Midtown. Um, so it says, what is Midtown Cafe all about? We've created a new map location called Midtown. The Location Council has opened a new connection to Simtown. They want a go-getting entrepreneur that's you, to bring their business precinct back to life. You will manage the full of beans cafe. That's seriously what it's called, full of beans. Wow. Okay. I feel like they could have came with a better name, but it's whatever. Uh, serving customers and satisfying their orders with speedy service. Employ specialist staff and upgrade your cafe equipment to ensure all your customers' needs are met. Customers will rate your service with or which then earns you some progress. Achieve council contractual milestone timers and be rewarded with exclusive home store prizes. Forgive me, I can read. I just don't have my glasses on. They're actually out in the car. And uh, it's like pretty late. Like what time is it? It's 1025. I'm not going outside. It's too dark for that. <laughs> so sorry about that. I probably should have went and got my glasses earlier so I wasn't a blind bat when reading this. But yeah, it totally slipped me. So, how do I get started? On the Simtown map, go to the bottom left-hand side near the children's store across from the river and build the Midtown Terminal. If you guys haven't already, that's how you get to, like, uh, the hospital district and all of that. So, if you already have that built, then you're good. If you don't, then you need to at least reach level 27 and complete the quest and unlock that. Um, it's the new getaway to the Full of Beans Cafe and the new precinct. The build cost is based on how many buildings you have in your town, so it will vary for everyone. Who is Barry Ista and does he run the cafe? Barry will be your mentor. He will show you the ropes and help or help you every step of the way during the tutorial on how to best be or how to be the best manager. Oh my god, I really should have went on my classes. Um, so what sort of customers come to the cafe, it says. Uh, it says that there are two types. There are walk-ins and there are tourists. So for walk-ins, these are regular customers that are just looking for a coffee or something to eat. They aren't part of any tours, which we'll explain more about shortly, but they do have a regular timer above their head to be served whenever they do roll in. And then if they're a tourist, then they arrive on buses in special tour groups organized by the Midtown Council who want to spread the word about their cafe culture. Tourists, each group is initiated by you, bring an influx of customers and are key to your progress as they reward likes for every item request of theirs that you meet. Likes represent your progress in the cafe small business. So to check out more information or to check out the information tab in the Midway, Midtown Cafe menu that explains all the details if you get stuck. So luckily we'll have a whole guide on this. Um, I'm not exactly sure when this update will be coming out. Hopefully there is some information on this. I'm actually reading this for the first time with you guys. So I actually don't know all that's coming in this update either. Um, so about tour and tour man or tourist management. Um, so it says some questions. What types of tourists are there and how do they affect each shift? So I guess this is going to be kind of like when you go to work at 
the police station or whatever but I guess you'll own it maybe I don't know um, so influencers <clears throat> likes uh, blue timer is above their head and an award bonus likes which give you extra progression um, you'll get money bags which is cafe credits so that'll be a yellow timer which I hear are um, like kind of easy people like easy going um, so they award bonus tips earning you more credit or cafe credits and then there's the impatient tourists which are the short wait timers and they are orange circles above their head um, and they'll have shorter timers unless prioritized risk stresses to your staff so if you don't get to them in time your staff um, and you will lose happiness and stress apparently um, so there are a few more questions here. Um, let's see. I want to get to the juicy stuff. I don't just want to read a bunch of questions. Um, I will also link this webpage down for you guys if you guys would like to click on it and go and read this entire thing. You're more than welcome to. Or you guys can just pause the screen and read that for yourselves. I'm going to save myself a bunch of reading um, and kind of skip to the parts that actually really matter. Um, so upgrading Midtown Cafe, how do I track my progress? To track your progress, check out the progress bar in the cafe menu by tapping the cafe icon in the top left of the screen to see how your overall progress is tracking, as well as the time remaining for each or to reach the next limited prize. Okay, so apparently the better we do, the more we unlock um, for prizes, which is pretty cool. So, what are the visual upgrades for my cafe? Upgrading milestones brings awesome environmental improvements to midtown locations. Awesome street art graffiti including our eccentric alien Osiris, which I was so hoping was going to be in this update, but I guess he's not going to be in the update. They just kind of threw us off by giving us him as graffiti, which is kind of annoying because he was like a really cool character that they introduced and then never did anything with. Um, so expanded lot size, the entire concrete area can be built open, um, stylish street decorations at businesses, larger customizable areas for placements for tables, stools, floors, walls, etc. Um, pretty cool stuff. So let's see. Apparently there's decor that you can earn for your cafe and a question is can you bring some of that stuff back to your normal sim town? Apparently the answer is yes any prizes that are earned in the small business can be placed on your home lots and that we hope you enjoy living the dream of owning a small business cafe with your sims. For even more details on this new way to play check out the blog post that we're reading. Um, and the Sims Replay news page. So I hope that you guys <laughs> um, are excited for this new update. It's definitely a big one. It's definitely not something that I was expecting. I figured it would have something to do with coffee or um, with like some kind of, you know, community lot. Like I figured it was going to be something that we could interact with. It wasn't just going to be like another building that they placed down and you could just buy stuff from. I kind of thought it was going to be more to do with produce though because um, I remember seeing like little produce stand in the background but then like we already have a produce place but they kind of didn't do a lot with it so I thought maybe it would be like a refresh on that. Um, so overall I think this is really cool. This is just the first step of information that we're getting about the update. Of course when the update comes out I'll be able to make more content for you guys, um, do some walkthroughs and everything like that. So. If you guys enjoy this, like if you guys are excited about this cafe, definitely let me know down below. Also, did you guys guess right? Was this what you guys thought was coming? Are you a little disappointed that maybe you wished it was something else? And if you guys are excited, but you guys kind of wish it was something else, what do you guys wish that it would have been? Like, what did you guys hope to see in the next update for The Sims Free Play? I'm curious to know that. Um, me personally, I'm wanting like a baby refresh or something. Like, I want more to do with babies and toddlers maybe even elders because elders are kind of skipped over in this game we don't really 
have a lot for them. They're kind of just there, to be honest. Um, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for in the future packs. Or not packs, but updates, rather. Look at me thinking about The Sims 4. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, make sure and give it a big like. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are not already. Turn on the notification bell. And if you guys would like to check out more of my videos, then definitely go through my playlists on here or go and check out my second channel. It's Culture Sims Plus. Link will be down in the description, as well as all of my social media links. And yeah, I cannot wait for this update to come out. But until then, I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.